Hi guys, this is Firefly for Neoaxis Animation Tree Tutorial. First of all, you can start your resource editor. Then let's check out the zombie mesh. So it's in type units zombie and zombie.mesh. We can see that there's quite a lot of death animation. Let's check the first one, death animation the second one and the third one actually in the engine only the death animation one is used and implement so in this tutorial we will implement other kind of death for the zombie so to do it let's go in zombie dead uh, folder inside zombie folder and then zombie dead the type if you've done the last tutorial for the integration in Source Editor, you will have an Edit Tree button. So and when you click on it, it opens uh, Animation Tree Editor. It's not mandatory to do the tutorial. Uh, as we can see, we've got our Death and Dead animation, our Death Trigger, and our default output box. While making this tutorial, I thought of a feature. So when you middle click on the trigger, it will trigger it inside the tree and you can play with your tree all along you edit it and you have the preview inside Vivo Resource Editor so now we've got our death and the animation let's create a new one action animation source block and then death 2 and a new one death 3 now for the dead animation, dead 2 and dead 3. So now when I click on all item, I can see I've got my animation blocks created and we can use it now in our tree. So our dead animation is a static animation. It means one frame animation and it's the last frame of the death animation. So now we will create two transition block which are lists and you can choose an index uh, of the output so it will contain our death and dead animation. So let's uh, create it. So action and then transition block. So Remember, uh, we've got your unique ID, so this one is the 6, so it will help you to know which block are contain which animation. So now we will add our animations, so death, and death 2, and the third one, death 3. Then uh, that's it for this one. So now we'll create the second one, action, transition block, and we will add the dead one, the dead two, and the dead uh, four. So this one ID is the number seven. So now we've got our trigger anime, uh, trigger block, so right, right click on it, then We've got our on source, and the on source is the death, so it's the number 6. We will choose it. And the off source will be the number 7 with death animation. So, uh, as you can see, it has updated our tree automatically uh, with our output animations. So, now if I click on my trigger, it still choose the first one because. The, tri the transition block index is still uh, zero. So now what we can do is right click on the block and change the index. So I choose one for the index here and one for the, for the index here. And now if I active the trigger it play the second death animation. And we can check that the third one uh, will work too and that's it but the problem is that it's very static and you have to change manually the index on the two so 
what we can do is to create a parameter block and so action parameter block we will call it call it death number and now uh, we will set it uh, at the selected index so right click on block and choose set index now you've got your parameter block choose it and we will do the same thing for the other block so that's it so now what's happened it's the animation played is uh, it, it used the value of the parameter block so we will change it so put to one and we can see the selected index change for the both uh, transition block so now let's save our tree so for the code part we will change the code of the corpse because our zombie dead is a corpse and we will add uh, some code to generate a value uh, a random value between 0 and the number max of the animation and we will set it as the death number parameter block but first of all we have to uh, add a property to our type so corpse type class that will contain the count of death animation then we will keep the compatibility between other and previously created corpse and the new one uh, so let's save again my tree and then quit this and quit this uh, so let's open your visual studio and uh, commercial or indie license or non-commercial license and uh, look for the game entity uh, project and then inside look for the corpse.cs uh, file as you can see it contains the corpse type class and the corpse class actually inside the post create uh, so it's standard networks is uh, code so it's already there for everybody uh, you can see that uh, there's the trigger death that is called uh, on the creation on the corpse so it will play the animation on the corpse when the corpse is created so now uh, let's create the parameter that will contain that code so as I told you it's to keep compatibility with previous created uh, corps or other corps that will contain different counts of death animation so death count equals one and now we will create the getter and setter so the accessor to our uh, field so public in Death count get and set. So do not forget to add the filed serialized attribute. Uh, so to remind you, it will uh, save. Uh, it will it define what property and file are saved uh, by the engine. Uh, when you save your type so let's finish the getter and setter so return death count and set death count equals value so here we are now let's go back to the corpse cl class and here we will generate uh, the random value between uh, 0 and the death count so it will be an int as uh, it's the kind of value we want for our transition block value we will generate uh, it with Neox's uh, default random number generator and then send it to the animation tree 
uh, with the animation tree API. So uh, world dot instance dot random and dot next. This take one parameter. It's max value. But our max value is not the death count, it's the death count minus 1. As the index for the first animation is 0, the index for the second animation is 1, and index for the third animation is 2. So the max value is 2, and our uh, number will be between 0, 1, or 2. So now our index is uh, generated randomly and inside the tree uh, block we will, dot we will do tree dot set parameter value the first parameter is the parameter name so the name we put uh, was death number and the value will be our index we just have generated but we might have forgiven something so we will start again our resource editor to change the s transition speed value which is the time between the index uh, change and blend the in animation but we don't want animation blending so we will set it to something very small. So let's start again our tree. Uh, I will just one second up up. So uh, you've got our, your tree. So right click on the transition block and set the time to zero dot zero zero one. It's small enough uh, to have an instant uh, transition time. And once it's done, you can save the tree again. So now, as we have recompiled our code, you can see that the death code parameter is here now. So we will set it to 3 and then save your type. I will not show you any demo uh, but you can test it in code and inside Neroxy's demo and you will see that zombie have now different uh, kind of death. So thanks for watching and see you soon guys. Bye!